Okay, I want to go over a couple options with you today, Egypt and Turkey for citizenship on their fast track programs. Uh, going to go through a couple of advantages, disadvantages in this and give you some uh, options that you can also look at. Now, Egypt reduced uh, its minimum uh, investment amount from uh, two, 350000 and they re reduced it down to 250000 U.S. dollars. Uh, this was done in July 2023. Uh, the minimum threshold in, in Turkey to get citizenship now it went up. So now it's 400,000 U.S. dollars. And, uh, of course, in Egypt, you can actually buy the property from, uh, used to be from the government, but now you can buy from developers or uh, through um, Egyptian uh, citizens. So they have to be citizens for you to purchase their property. And Egypt also has an E2 treaty with the uh, USA uh, where you're, threshold to get into the investment option with the EU treaty in uh, USA is somewhere between 50 and 100,000 US dollars. Uh, you're more likely going to get it if you invest 100,000 uh, using the E2 treaty. Now, both countries actually have that treaty with the US. Now, there are some complications that have come about in that where you actually have to be domiciled there for a while used to be able to get, um, a lot of people were getting these Grenadian passports and then never moving to Grenada and then getting the E2 treaty in the U.S. And then Biden administration changed all that. Uh, also, folks, you got to remember, too, when you go into the U.S., you're going to be taxed on your worldwide income on the company. You can avoid it yourself as long as you're not in the U.S. more than uh, you can use as a guideline roughly about 120 days a year on your other assets outside the company, but you're not going to escape the uh, worldwide taxes on your, on the actual company that you got. So that, that's something you need to take in consideration there. Now, also Turkey is part of the European Customs Union. I didn't say the European Union, but European Customs Union, which makes it easier for Turkish citizens to do business with EU members, um, for the EU member states. Now, they have applied for, uh, you know, EU membership. So I don't know if they'll ever get that or not, but they've applied for it. Now, one thing that you need to take in consideration is the Turkish lira has continuously dropped since the Turkish lira was the lira. And you could go back 60 years ago. I did videos on this. That currency has consistently dropped even before it was the Turkish lira. Uh, long term, that currency has been constantly dropping against the U.S. dollar. So this is something you it's very difficult to work in that country and uh, and either not being affected either directly or indirectly from the, the lira. Now, if you look at the visa-free travel, uh, Turkey's got 123 countries, visa-free or visa-free on arrival countries and territories. Egypt's got 54 countries that are visa-free or visa-free on arrival. Uh, that's something you really ought to look at because you're, you're looking at a huge difference in the uh, visa-free travel. But the problem is neither one of them have uh, visa-free travel to the Shenzhen countries so basically, if you go to Europe, you're pretty much uh, you're going to have to get visas there where you go. Uh, it's too bad that Turkey doesn't have at least visa free the Shenzhen countries because it's applied for EU membership, but it doesn't, you know. Um, and the taxes are uh, are pretty bad, too. Uh, Tur Turkey's got the worst at 40 uh, percent. That's as high as their brackets go. Uh, part of it would hit under that. But, you know, if you're a high income earner, some of it's going to hit 40 percent. Egypt's uh, top bracket is 25%. Uh, it, it, if you're looking for passports, though, folks, I've told people before on this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and look at the top where it says the flag theory. These are the things that you ought to be looking for when you're looking to get a second passport. And one of the things they talk about is you should be getting a passport in a country that doesn't have an income tax. I've told people this over and over and over again. Another thing, too, is uh, uh, you're going to have a language issue in Turkey and Egypt because their main language is not English. Very few people speak English in these two countries. So you're going to have to you know, be concerned with that. Uh, now, uh, one thing that I, I do like, and I mention this quite a bit about St. Kitts, if St. Kitts doesn't have an income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, but the visa-free travel at 154 countries beats uh, Turkey by over 30 uh, countries. And you're looking at, uh, with uh, uh, Egypt, you're looking at about 100 countries more that you can travel to, 100 countries more 
with a Sake Kids passport than you can with a uh, Egyptian passport. And but uh, I'll tell you something too. If you look at the uh, amount that you have to invest, like right now, I've said it's it's the best thing out there today. If you inv- you can invest as little as twenty five thousand in a Saint Kitts uh, passport for one person, uh, if you go over the real estate option, and that's the cheapest program you can get out there today with the visa free travel that Saint Kitts has got. English speaking, with no income tax, there is no country in the world that you can get it with the government fees that low. Anyway, if you want to know more on this, uh, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or a comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the right of your screen right here. You get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.